All right, this is a brief introduction or overview of this rig. The texturing and modeling are pretty simple. Uh, I used edge nodes for the lines and a bit of nodes for blurring and uh, displacement of the lines. Uh, for the rig, I used the standard meta rig with some modifications, uh, added a tail with um, a few constraints, and I attempted to have the bones follow the hair as it deforms uh, according to the view, but that proved difficult. It's not really working. Hopefully there will be a, there is a better solution or there will be. I used uh, Sam Kadali's method, Dorito, to kind of attach these to the rig, but it's not really working the way I expected it to. But to move on to the view, changing, I created a kind of trio. This one is for the face. Uh, this one is for the hair. Each tree has different bones sticking out with different names. These names are attached to shape keys and evaluated with animation nodes. So first I get the view with uh, this script or yeah, bit of code and I get that I uh, create a little tool that allows me to create a bone by selecting this and selecting this and put in object mode then I execute it and it pops out a bone that's aligned to the view to the current view so and it adds a shape key so that's what this does and this one it runs through the different armatures text to the body or the character and evaluates them and kind of measures the dis distance between the view and say two bones in this case it would be this one and this one most likely and it would calculate is it nearer to this one or this one and if it's right in between them it'll set each one to 50 percent or 0.5 and once it gets closer to let's say uh, this one it'll switch and evaluate these two uh, most likely there's a better method to allow for smoother transitions but this is uh, one way I kind of figured this uh, out so this spits out a value in sends it to the shape key. In order to render it correctly for animation you will have to bake it to shape keys after you've done your camera moves and everything. And so let me activate it and I'll hide. Okay. And you can see in this view it doesn't evaluate but in this view it does. It, it's set up to only evaluate in one view right now. You can see how it changes over here. Uh, it doesn't look good at all over here, but kind of works in this view. And for the top, there's kind of bad views there. I made a few, but I didn't go. Um, I got kind of impatient and kind of rushed through some of them. Like that's a kind of bad view. And they, they could stand some correction, but that's the basic overview and the face also has subtle changes you can see the mouth sliding over to the side because that's how the character looks the cheek kind of puffing out if I turn it um, if I turn it off and go around you can see it's a different silhouette if I turn it on she kind of puffs out but but I hope you can use this knowledge and I'm going to share this um, 
I'll provide a link in the description so, so you can maybe use this in your own projects or make it better if you do. Just shit, uh, share it with me if you would. Um, and if anybody has any other methods, uh, uh, please feel free, to, feel free to share those. And um, thanks everybody for sharing and taking a look. All right, take care.